back to Sassy Jack Stitchery and Yonder Ways, our Floss Tube channel. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your little bit of time with us here. We like to talk about whatever comes to mind. <laughs> so um, sometimes I talk about new things in the shop. Sometimes I show you stitching. Sometimes I show you samplers. Sometimes I do all of those things. And I will be doing, I think, all of those things today. So welcome back. It is finally fall here in the mountains. And we've had a few days that actually feel like fall, which I'm super excited about because I love it. Um, and we're going to get it warm again. It's going to be yo-yo weather, but that's okay. Um, so I've been thinking about fall and I wanted to share a few fun little things with you that I do have in the shop. They are all kind of limited quantity, but they're really neat things. Um, we had Isabel from the Primitive Hair with us last year for Halloween class. It was a lot of fun. And this was a um, item that we actually made for everybody. And I'll show you, it comes in this really cool little tin. It's a... It, we took a picture of the design that she taught, and I do have just a very few of those kits if you decide you um, need to have that. It was exclusive to our shop. Um, but we took a little snippet of it, and we made it into a really beautiful scissor fob. And so it's just gorgeous. It's definitely Halloween-y. Um, and it comes in this really sweet little tin. And the tin was kind of dual purpose. Um, it's a great little travel and ort container and it's the perfect height for a small piece of banding but we designed a little band that you could stitch that would fit around this perfectly and so even if you don't have the banding you could stitch it on a little piece of linen or ada and just um you know just whip stitch it over or uh you know finish the edge just a little bit you can even do a running stitch on the edge it's fine and put it around this and it's a great little ort jar um, so we have a few of these. I want to say we might have like 20 of these in the shop. They'll be online. And if you love this one and you need to have it, you can find it out there. So that's one of my favorite, um, fall things in the shop right now. This little guy, I love this. This is a kit from Nikki's Creations. And you can see the squirrel and the needle book. We might have 20 of these, something like that. And they're beautiful. They come with all this stuff for it. So you've got the linen, the beautiful gingham linen from Nikki. Um, you've got the backing fabric in there. You've got this sweet little floss pin. It's like a little counting pin. Just a really beautiful little kit. And so if you love this and you want to have it, you can find it on the website. It's called Acorn Needle Holder, and it's from Nikki's Creations. I love it. Another favorite fall thing. Um, I haven't started this yet, but I've been talking about it, and I thought that I would show it to you. Um, this is one of my one of my favorite fall designs that came out this year. And this is from Lindy Stitches, our good friend Stephanie Webb. We love her. Um, but she made this really cool design. I know a lot of you are already stitching it, and some of you have even finished it. Um, called Dracula's Confession. And it's actually from the book, um, the, the novel, Dracula. And so it's just really cool. And I love it. I've kitted it for a few people. I wanted it for myself. It's kitted on a fabric called Murky from Picture This Plus, and I didn't have any Murky. Um, and I did have something else that was pretty similar, and I, I sold it to somebody in Picture This Plus, both halves. I sold one half to a person, and then I was going to keep the other half. And there was another customer. She was like, hey, I really like that. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I gave it to her. So I had to find one for myself. Um, and so I went back and looked at some really neat fabrics that I had brought back from market this year. And we had some from Seraphim. And so this Seraphim linen, I should have brought my fancy holder that uh, Everett made for me, is beautiful. And you can tell it's kind of, it's right. It's definitely the right, right. I said that really, really long. These are the threads recommended for it. It's perfect for this sampler. So as you can see, this is going to be beautiful. So I'm really excited about this. I'm going on a little trip this weekend, and I'm going to take it with me and stitch it. Pretty excited. So thank you, Stephanie. Beautiful design. I'm loving on this. Can't wait to stitch it. So that's high on my list. And we do have this dinky dye silk um, that she calls for. We carry dinky dyes silk. So if you're kidding it and you need that or you're having trouble finding it, just let us know. I think we had all the fibers for this. So... Fun fall stitching. Probably going to drop all that. Um, what else? 
me look in my bag here. I got this bag. I'm a connoisseur of bags. I got this bag from Becky Noland of Lucy Bean. She makes beautiful bags, and this is my Halloween bag. And you can, it's it's like a poison garden kind of. I love it. It's really made for a small chart, um, like a half size chart. But I have a some bigger stuff in here. I've been working on the the um, bonus model bonus design for shake spooky shakespeare and we talked about spooky shakespeare last week um and this is the second one the first one the third one and then the fourth one is finished and um nose itching somebody's coming to visit that's what my mom used to say the fourth one is finished and you on the back you get the bonus design so it's a picture of it there. And the whole thing is centered around a couple of different poems taken out of Macbeth. And I, I love them. And so this one, I'm trying to finish this up so it can be in the fourth booklet. <laughs> so that was my assignment. Allie stitched the other four. And um, I need to stitch that one. And so that's the other thing I've been working on. That's fun. It's a fun stitch. And for those of you who ask me if it can be stitched on Ada, absolutely you can stitch it on Ada. That's on Tin Roof. We um, ordered Tin Roof in 32 count, 36 count, and 40 count from Week Style Works. But we can put it on Ada for you on something that you'll love and it'll look great on. So that's the other thing I'm stitching. And then one more thing that I'm going to get done here pretty quick. Um, and I would encourage you to go vote. Uh, no matter who you vote for, go vote. But I'm going to stitch out one of these buttons. I love this. And um, thank you, Beth Seal, for, from Summer House Stitch Works for this. And I love that she gave different options for different countries in here. And I think there's even, yeah, more than those three. So there's one from the Netherlands, one from France, one from Canada, the UK, the US, um, and Australia. So no matter what country you're from, you can uh, find your, your button here. And you can stitch that out. So I'm going to get mine stitched out. I might actually stitch some of the others just for fun. So that one's high on my list. Love it. Um, so we did some fun things in the shop here recently. Some of you, if you're on Facebook, you saw that we posted some, I guess, odd sizes. Odd cuts is what we called them of linen in 46 count. I think that we started with parchment. Well, we've done a lot more since then, and I'll get them posted on the website for you. So hopefully by the time you see this, they'll all be posted on the website. But uh, we went through and numbered and priced and put a whole bunch of stuff out there. So if you're looking for, you know, kind of smallish cuts, so you're not having to buy a standard cut or a big cut, we have a lot of different stuff out there. I think we stayed with the um, Week Style Works stuff right now. And we'll move through the rest of our linen inventory as well. Um, so the other thing that we're doing, just so you know, is we're trying to get ourselves ready to move down the street a little bit. So we own a beautiful old folk Victorian. I've talked about it before, but if you're new, it's called the Baird House. And it was the Zebulon, um, Zebulon H. Baird is the man who built the house in 1878. And so it's 150 years old, a little bit more than 150 years old. And it's on the national listing of historic places. And it's beautiful. It's a folk Victorian. So it's not a fancy painted lady like you see, but it is it is Victorian. And it does have the really neat um, gingerbread on it. It just looks more like folk art, which is really pretty cool because this area is all about folk artists and artists in general. Um, lots of potters live here, lots of handcraft people um, live here and this area was settled primarily by Scottish immigrants which that's my heritage um, and it's just it's a really interesting neat place and I hope that you have a chance to visit whether you come to see us or you just come to visit whatever the Biltmore house is here um, beautiful outside spaces here too so you know if you have a chance to come to the mountains here in western North Carolina definitely take advantage of that and come visit um, but the Baird house sat by itself empty for I guess it's going on 15 years now it was 10 years when I bought it and we've been working on the rehab at the pace of a snail because <laughs> once we open the shop you know all attention diverted over here um, but we're getting close and we're really hoping to finish it 
by the end of this year. And so, you know, thoughts become things. And so that's what we're thinking. And we're trying to get ourselves ready to move. And we have vast inventory here. Uh, if you guys have ever been here, especially linen and fabric, we just have an unbelievable amount of fabric um, and charts. But so we are trying to kind of be smart and divest of some things and share it with you. So why not uh, go ahead and put some prices on it and make it easier for you to purchase right now in these times where you can't really travel. So we'll be continuing to work on that. So check back on our website. I think it's under, if you type in odd cuts, it should pop right up. Um, you can go under fabric and look for it there, but I think it'll pop up with odd cuts. They each have a unique identifying number. And so the one that you purchase is the exact one that you will get and nobody else will get it. There's, they're only online once. And when that particular one is gone, it's gone and you'll have a chance to buy another one. There are other ones out there. Um, in that same vein of sharing stash, we, um, for a couple of years when we were kidding for new releases, um, we bought thread kits. So we bought the whole kit many many and we sold many many and we love you for that we appreciate you but we ended up with like kits of um colors that we had a deep back stock of and so we have that in swat lj and we have it in 103 um which is they're both of Swa silks and so we um we're trying to figure out a way to share those with you a way that you could you know easily buy it um, and it, it's really kind of interesting here because we have this really deep, deep back stock of a bunch of colors and we're out of a bunch of others. And uh, that's just the way of the world today. So I had some folks on my team sit down and break apart the kits and kind of put them into little groupings. And so we decided that we would do the 103 first. And, you know, not all of our 103 is like this, but things that we had really deep inventory on. Um, we created some uh, sassy dozens. <laughs> so you heard of a baker's dozen? Well, this is a sassy dozen. And that means that you are getting um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 for the price of 10. Okay. And so they'll come in a little bag like this. And, you know, they can be a variety of colors. But I will tell you that because they're coming from, you know, the overstock that we had for basically samplers, um, they're all sampler colors. And in particular, you know, if you've been with us a while, you know that they most likely come from hands across the sea samplers. So if you're a big hands across the sea sampler stitcher, um, and you're looking for hundred threes for some of the designs, especially the designs that were out like a year ago, um, you know, you might end up with some of your colors doing this. So we're not going to tell you what's in which bag because it's just a lot of trouble for us to do that. A lot more time invested than what we really have available. But we have grouped them in beautiful sets. And so, um, you know, like this one's kind of all falls. Beautiful, beautiful browns and greens and gold colors. But they are gorgeous silk. They, um, they could be anything in there um, that we had a deep inventory on, but it's going to, they're all coming from the sample releases from the last couple of years. So we um, need to be able to pack our stuff <laughs> to, to move down the road. So we're just going to try to divest to some of the things that we just have just too much stuff of. And um, hopefully you'll get to reap the benefit of that. So the fabric, the odd cuts, and then, you know, of course these guys, um, so this stuff is usually three fifty dollars a spool and it will be, um, $35 and you'll get 12 spools versus the 10. That's how that'll work for those. And so those will be online. They'll just, they'll call, be called sassy dozens of 103 and you know, what you get, you get, um, we're not going to take any special requests or try to weed through there and, you know, mix the ones up. I will tell you though, that you know, if, if you look on our website and we did go through, we finally figured out every website is different. I don't know if you guys know that, but every website is different and our website is proprietary. Um, uh, well it is, it is, and it isn't. We built our website using, um, a software that was available, but it was built specifically for us. So it's not like we're on Etsy or Shopify or something like that. Um, it's unique to us and the way it's set up is unique to us. And some of you love it and some of you don't. Um, and it is what it is because it was very expensive and I had the privilege of paying for it twice. 
um, because my account was lost on GoDaddy back in the early days and we had to completely rebuild it. Um, so one of the things we finally figured out how to do is truly go in there and um, show which things were in and out of stock, which has been a struggle for us really um, for threads. And so we've started with 103. So if you look at our inventory listing for a Verisoy 103 and it says that it's out of stock, it's not going to be in one of these bags because trust me, we went through all of our inventory looking for the things that were out of stock to try to get them to you. Um, these are going to be things that we actually do show as in stock. Um, so unless something slipped by us, so I guess that's possible. Uh, so anyway, that's a good thing. We were able to modify that. We'll start working through all of our other threads and stuff for that so that when you order a thread from us, 98% of the time, the, the inventory count will be accurate. Um, it used to be that we had so much availability of thread and um, so such a deep inventory, which we still do for some, some things, some colors, that it wasn't really an issue because we never ran out. And if we did run out, we were able to get it within a week. And those days are just behind us right now. So we just can't do that. So we're working hard to... Um, make positive change here and make your experience um, easier. So uh, you'll benefit from that in a few different ways. And I hope you, if you love 103, you go out and you take advantage of that and you get some spools in there for free. Um, we also do have little, little sets called taster packs and these are five spools for 1750. Uh, so these guys um, are left over from I think these all came out of the Bathia kits that we had. We had class for Bathia from Hands Across the Sea. It was taught here a couple of years ago. And so we had a lot of um, kits in supply for that. We ended up with some extra ones. So I think we do still have some of these little taster sets and I'll make sure that they're online. Um, for these, I'm probably able to list what's in them um, because they're, they're all the same. So, um, we'll make sure we get those listed for you so that you know exactly what's in those. And then on that note with Bathia, we do actually still have the full kits. You see the, the, these little guys in here. We do actually still have the full kits um, for Bathia. So if you're thinking about stitching Bathia, um, we've got, we probably got about 15 of these left. So we'll probably um, mark these down a little bit too, just to get them out the door. So you can buy your 103 this way too, and then you'll know exactly what's in here. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, Sassy Jacks is going to be moving. Hopefully, hopefully the house is not done yet. <laughs> but you know, I'm a positive thinker. We'll finish it. We'll get moved. We really want to move down the street, not because we don't love Weaverville. We love it here, and it's a beautiful shop. If you've been here, I, I think you would agree. Um, and it's nice to be on Main Street, but um, we own that house. And it's a beautiful house. And we've put some really, I think, just great thought and, um, you know, work into how we restored the house and what's in there. And so I think that it'll be very different from this shop, but I think you'll find a place in your heart to, to hold that shop dear. And um, we're pretty excited about it. We are. We'll still do classes up here, even if we do get moved this year. And I don't know if we'll get there or not. It's now going on middle of September, we'll see. Um, almost October. Gosh, this month flew by. So we're almost in October, so we might not make it down there this year, but sometime it's in our future. We'll still do our classes here next year, assuming that uh, we're able to do that. We'll still hold classes upstairs, which will be um, fun. It's a beautiful classroom space that we've created up there for you, so we'll still make use of that. Um, I wanted to show you one other thing in the shop because I don't know if you knew that we had it, and um, maybe you did, but this is Willing Hands from Inspirations, and it is um, a Betsy Morgan book, and it's incredible. This is what the back looks like, and so it's a book of etuis, and an etui is a keep for, like, needle thread, whatever, whatever. Like, you can sort of see this one here. Um, you can see the little smalls in there in this box. And that one looks like a casket. But, um, you know, you're able to, I think there's like 12 in here. Eight, eight. There's eight Atuis in here. And they give you the patterns for it. So you've got the patterns. They give you the stitch instructions for it. And they give you the finishing instructions. This is an incredible book. 
And if you don't have this book or you didn't want to pay to order it from Australia, um, we've got um, quite a few of these, maybe 30, 40 of these. And they are $37, which is a very reasonable price, I think, for this. So if you don't have this yet, this is something you should have in your collection. Everybody should have this book. It's just incredible. I take this book out home a lot and just look at it. I love it. And I am going to sit something in it eventually. Um, so I want to make sure that you saw that. I just dropped that. Off the floor. <laughs> um, I've got a sampler I want to show you which is a darning sampler, another one, because you guys asked me for it. And I showed you one, I showed one during the soiree, um, the last video of the soiree, because you guys were asking me for it. This is a different one. But before I do that, if you were in the soiree, and again, thank you for that. I think that was fun. You got to meet Sharon Hufsteller because she launched her new company with us. And um, we really enjoyed Sharon. I love Sharon. That's, if you look behind me, you see that long, tall, skinny model back there. Um, that's Sharon's needlework and it's a beautiful band sampler. So she does incredible needlework. Um, but we were very, very honored and privileged to be part of her company launch. And this is the model for her very first reproduction design. And her company's name is Thy Needles Work. And it's a beautiful charting. Um, she did the charting and we, um, helped her develop the booklet. Uh, so we were super proud to be able to do that. And it went to print and it came out right in time for our story so we're excited about that it's called Anna Maria Pollard um, so this is the model and this chart here and it's it's a really great quality chart if you've ever had one of our charts from Sassafras samplers um, you'll know that uh, this is an excellent quality chart um, she does have a centerfold picture in here for it so you can see big how you know how such and Sharon did a lot of work on the history and so it's just a really well put together um, booklet and I think you'll love it and this is a very sweet design somebody sent me a note today and asked me if it was suitable for Ada and it is it's perfect for Ada it's um, you know all over two threads so on Ada that would be over one box and there's no specialty stitches and I just think it's really neat this design because it's got the alphabet and then it's got the numbers underneath it like that. I've seen a lot of samplers. I've not seen many like this. I think it's really neat. And I love that it's in one color. I love that it's red um, and it's beautifully framed. And so this guy actually, for the last week or so, has been living inside our little Zoltar <laughs> cage up there, right behind the glass where you go to check out um, so that you can see it up close and personal. We love it. We'll eventually hang it somewhere, but I just love looking at it right there. Um, kind of front and center for everybody. It's just really pretty. And I do know that Sharon has two others that are finished and that are coming and maybe one more that might be finished by now because she's quick. It doesn't take her but a couple, couple, three days. Um, the next one that's coming out, I love. I really love it. And I think you're going to love it too. And she has shown some little previews and snippets of it on her social media. So you know, get out and follow her. Now we sell this chart. She also sells it on her Etsy site. So, you know, if you want to buy it from Sharon, go buy it from Sharon. If you want to buy it from us, buy it from us. If you want to buy it from Sharon and ask us to kit it, we're happy to do that. So all those things are great. Okay. I want to show you this darning sampler, which means I have to clear my table off to get to it. <laughs> so while I'm doing that, I know a lot of you guys ordered um, Coming to America from us. And we have, um, gosh, we struggled for threads on that. But we shipped out a whole lot of, we were missing grits and Oscar. Everybody was missing Oscar. Weeks worked with us. Just, they were fantastic. And we shipped out tons, hundreds, many hundreds of skeins of Oscar. And um, we're just waiting on the grits to come back in and we'll get the rest of those out. So I think I still have a group that I need to ship out um, the threads for. So. Hopefully we'll get the rest of the threads and we'll get them all out to you this week. And I appreciate you guys being patient on that and understanding that, you know, the folks, the folks at the thread providers at Weeks and General Art, they were working as hard as they could to get us um, those massive orders. So thank you for that. And I will tell you a little secret. We do have some extra kits, um, but I'm not ready to sell them yet. I need to make sure we have all the threads and that we've taken care of all of our previous orders. So... Um, you know, as soon as I get in the missing threads and we get everybody settled, if you missed out on coming to America and you're wanting to stitch that, 
you know, give us a week or so and then circle back. Um, I won't sell it before then. So don't ask me. I need to get everybody settled who actually already has purchased one. So we'll get all of our threads in and, and when we sell the others, we'll make sure we have all the threads and stuff for it. They'll be sold as kits. So, but don't be too upset. We have, um, a number of them uh, that we ordered that were extra just for you because <laughs> we knew you'd change your mind. All right. So this is a, a little bit big and a little bit heavy. This is another darning sampler and it's beautiful and you can kind of see down here it's a little bit out of whack but I'll show you the back and you'll see why. Let me put this light down. Okay. Okay, so this is our darning sampler, and you see it's 1773, and it's just beautiful. And these spaces here, you can see through them right here and there. Those are needle lace, like reticelli, like it's thrown work. It's hard for you to see it. Let me see if I can put my hand behind it. I don't think you can see it good there either. But you can see it's very special. <laughs> so... That's the front. I want to show you the back. Ugh. This is what the back looks like of a true darning sampler. So this is not just surface stitching. When they make a darning, when they made darning samplers, they would actually cut holes in the linen and repair it. And they repaired it by weaving through. And it's basically a resume to show that this embroiderer, embroideress, was competent to repair very expensive, very beautiful clothing of the time period. I bought this one in Holland from a, a friend and a dealer over there whose family has been in the antique and sample business for a long, long time. So um, I don't really know any history on it. Sometimes when they get this old, it's hard to find a whole lot of history. But I do know it's just it's stunning, beautiful. And I actually, you know, so you saw the way that it was framed on the back. We... Um, I, and I'm, I talked about this in the soiree, but we wanted to see the back. It's important on a darning sampler that if you're going to, you know, use it for showing and teaching that you can see the back because that was, it, they weren't framed for that reason because they were kind of a resume. You would hand them to, you know, the person, the place of your potential employer and show that you had the skill set to do this work front and back. And um, so they were never framed and this one was never framed. But we wanted to be able to show the back, and so my framer and I, I took it to her one time, and then we waited another probably almost a year to try to frame it, because I really had to think through how I wanted that to happen, and finally decided that, you know, the right way to do this was to kind of lay it on top, tack it down, because my other one has little needle lace up here, too, on the edges, and this one does not, but it has this really beautiful hem stitch on it. And so I wanted you to um, be able to see that. So we laid it on top of the map board and then we cut the back out so that you could see the back. So, so I hope you enjoyed that. It was fun for me to share that one with you. I'll try to keep doing that and sharing, you know, an antique here and there. There's some really beautiful ones behind me back there. Um, the one that's in the gold frame that's kind of like right there. That is the first sampler that I ever purchased and it came from a museum actually in um, Rotterdam or in Holland. We're in Holland and it is a Rotterdam sample. I don't think it was in the museum at Rotterdam. It was in another museum in Holland. <laughs> but it's a Dutch sampler and it's um, a Rotterdam. It has a Rotterdam city crest on it which I lived over there for a while and so that's why I wanted that one. Um, but it's very beautiful, very, very beautiful. It's got a beautiful stag on it. We'll chart that. There's um, some other really pretty ones. You can see that one that's kind of right there above my finger. Some of you who've been in the shop have seen that one and asked me for it. It has a beautiful red cow on it. Um, it's pretty old. I don't remember the date on it now, but it's gorgeous. Uh, and this little guy here is also a Dutch sampler and that one is charted and Allie just brought me that one back she's had it for a little while doing the charting and it is one of my favorites I also bought that one in um, Amsterdam from my friend Martin and um, it just has a neat story with it it's beautiful so we're hopefully we'll bring that one out soon and then Kezia is back there 
which we've talked about Kezia before. You can't see her too good. She's right over our sassy jack sign. Um, that Kezia belongs to a friend and she agreed to let us chart her. So she's charted and we're just picking out the final colors for her and we'll get the booklet out. Kezia will probably be the next reproduction that comes out. Um, and she's just gorgeous. You're going to love Kezia. Uh, but we have so many beautiful samplers and we're so... Um, thrilled to be able to share them with you. The condition that I had to ever buying a sampler is that I was I would not buy it if I did not have the imminent ability to share it with people. And so I did not buy that first sampler until I knew that I was going to be open in a shop. And so I bought that one I think sometime in 2016, and we opened our brick and mortar in 2017. So, um, and then I've, I've bought a few since then. <laughs> but we'll get them all out to you. We've got a set of sisters coming soon. Um, we're excited about that. And they are youngs. So they share my last name, which I'm um, really excited about that. They were purchased here in the U S but I think they're Scottish. Maybe I'm not sure, but um, those are exciting. We'll be bringing those out. So lots of good things to come from Sassafras samplers, but the first one will be Kezia from a reproduction perspective. And then we also have our Spooky Shakespeare number four, which I showed you the model that I was working on for the bonus sampler. That'll come out in October. So um, that'll be our little original design release for Halloween. So I hope you have fun with that. But um, thank you for joining us. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that's fantastic. Um, I really like something that um, another floss tube station soon. And in fact, I would love it if you made a little comment here and told me who you like to watch in floss tube, because I just don't have a ton of time and I, that I have favorites and I do watch them. I watch country stitchers always. I love them. And, um, they did this great review of this little stand called a Patoki, um, uh, embroidery stand. And a friend of mine and I went in together and ordered, uh, one each for each of us of those. And so we're waiting patiently to get that stand. I love it. You'll probably see it. Um, but thank you to those guys for always making uh, my day a little brighter when I see that video pop up. I love it. Just very genuine people. So if you've not watched Country Stitchers, you need to get out there and watch them. They're really, really great. Um, but they do a thing called subscriber tribute and I like what they do. So I'm rolling that around. Um, I've got access to, you know, a lot of neat charts, some, well, some new, some old. <laughs> and so I, you know, would love to share that with some people and figuring out a mechanism to do that. Maybe that's the way to do it. So maybe next time we'll do something like that. But the other one that I watch all the time is Sunshine Stitchers. I love those guys. Um, they, they really make me laugh. Sheila and EJ and Gary. Um, I've had the, the, the privilege to meet, um, Sheila and Gary, they were here in the shop, um, on two different occasions. And then, um, EJ, I haven't yet, but, um, I feel like an error cause I watch her all the time. That's a, <laughs> you guys probably feel that way too. Um, but, uh, I love watching them and there's some of my lists that I need to watch. So I'm going to watch. I will tell you one thing I'm definitely going to sign in for, to watch is when Jacob, um, the graph of modern folk embroidery, he's got a podcast coming out this fall and it's going to be amazing. Amazing. So, um, he's great to listen to. He's incredibly knowledgeable. Um, I'm excited about that. So I'll be listening to that for sure. So, um, yeah, tell me who you watch. I would like to know who you watch and, uh, you can put it in the comments. That'd be great. And, um, you know, we'll see about doing that um, subscriber tribute. So, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because that's how we'll pull those um, is from the people who've subscribed. And then if you don't follow us yet on Instagram or Facebook, we'd love it if you did that. I don't post as much on Instagram as I do on Facebook, but I'm getting there. Uh, I do like Instagram a lot better. It's a little more drama free than Facebook. And that's a good thing these days. I feel like every day in the middle of 2020 is like a full moon. <laughs> every day is like a full moon. If you've ever worked in the medical field or in retail, you know from whence I speak. <laughs> so um, people are just worn out. I get it. We're all worn out, but we're getting through it one day at a time. And I'm glad that you guys are all out there and hopefully all healthy. Um, and we just really look forward to seeing you back in the shop and we get open, whether it's here or whether we actually make that move three whole miles down the road. It's only three miles away. Um, 
But anyway, I will talk to you more about that as it happens. So thank you for watching and listening to me ramble. I appreciate you. I do. And uh, thank you for keeping our little shop open and alive. We love you for that. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Um, and find some time to stitch. Bye. Thank you.